Okay, I'm starting a new job on Monday. They'll just give me this to have a look at over the weekend to get used to it. I've, uh, I've done all my training on flukes. The uh, 1651, I think it was. So I've never used one of these before. Let's see what you get. Been a while since I've done any electrical work, so that's just your leads. More leads. Oh, that's just a so you can connect to the socket and do your tests. Other leads. They're fused leads, so that's for doing that. Like, uh, fault loop impedance at the box, at the source of origin, or whatever you call it. I forget. Right, I'll look at the machine. It's pretty basic, and it's manual as compared to the fluke. The fluke was a lot more automatic than this, or a lot more digital. So what you got? Press the test. Continuity. Stick some leads in. Wherever you stick the leads. Ah. Okay then, so you stick them in this side. So you've got earth and line. Let's try that. Continuity test. Open circuit, which it should be. It's actually flashing up. Touch them together. You're getting a reading. Doesn't look like there's a way to zero that reading out, but. Might be. I'll have to have a look. Right. So what's next? Insulation resistance. So I've got the I've got my part, infinite reading, short circuit, 1.00 mega ohms. Okay. What's next? Loop impedance. So you're probably gonna have to use the other sets. So if you're good doing it at the box, you probably use that one. Click that to the earth, live and neutral there. I suppose I'm gonna use this one for the socket. I ain't done this for a long time, as you can see. I forget most things. Oh uh, yeah, same wiring correct, proceed to test. It's on 20 mega ohms. Is it? No, it's all insulation. 20 ohms. 240 volts. And it's tested. 0 0.43. Is that any good? Seems a bit high to me. Let's have a look. Oh God! I forgot to read this as well. Maximum permissible earth fault loop impedance ninety nine. Hmm. I've completely forgot everything I have. TN systems 0.45 second disconnections. Well, I'm going to have to go through all this, I've completely forgot all of what it means. Ah, circuit breaker. Circuit breakers type B 
32 amp for a socket so there you go 1.3 1.16 is the maximum I don't know what 5 second disconnection time is it should be really fast 0.1 but we're well under that 1.16 so that tests alright anyway in my house which is good right what's next 200 ohms that would be just off the scale well still reading but what's next so we've done continuity insulation resistance uh, RCD okay so oh uh, yeah basically you have to do an RCD test in naught and 180 degrees of the sine wave looks like at half power and then one times so half hour it shouldn't trip at 30 milliamps so let's try it we I think you gotta do all five tests 10 30 to make sure it's not tripping on a too low of a current so we'll try it at 10 and half and it's passed it's not tripping I don't want to trip it because I've got people downstairs but that works so yeah I'm pretty happy with that machine it's a lot it's a basic compared to a flute but it's also like a third of the price so pretty good I think it needs new batteries though oh shit still got it plugged in Good machine.